Hello and welcome, I'm Vasquez and this is The Production Line. In this first episode, I will show you how to create your first production line, how to make it efficient, how to avoid some of the mistakes that I had in the beginning when I started to learn this game. I will show you which technologies you will need to research in the beginning if you want to create your car company successful and efficient. So let's go and start by going here. This is the car design. As you can see, this is my name. This is the sign and company logo that I choose. And you see here that we can build only sedan version. This is the basic car you can build on the first start of the game. So you can see here, this is the sale price that you are selling the car. And every single detail here is really important. As you can see, I'm making a profit of $11,000 if I sell one unit and uh, these are the colors that you can use and if you click on color like this that means that these two colors are not going to be used in the production process so you can leave it so you can have more colors the rest of the colors are going to be researched as you advance in the game so let's go and create our first production line you can see here these two arrows the blue one is export and the green one is import of resources and this is the menu of the production lines as you can see we have more stuff here that we can't build right now but eventually if when we research all of these technologies we can make axles we can make fuel tanks body frame that will be more and more detailed and your car company will be uh, bigger and bigger and more efficient. I will show you the map. This is the biggest map that we have in the game. This is the Detroit map and I wanted to take it uh, on the biggest map because I'm going to make a lot of episodes about this and I want to create the biggest car company that I can on this map. Let's take a look on the map because we want to create a simple and efficient factory in the beginning because I want to show you every single detail there is possible. And if you wonder what is this, this is the facility area. You can make marketing or research offices and you can make design studio here. You can't make any fit body, paint, uh, engine, conveyors. You can't build that. And uh, let's go and start creating our first factory. I will start on this part because I have two slots and I want to use them in full cap capabilities. Let's go and click on the chassis assemble. Uh, you can see here that it's 12 minutes to assemble. 12 minutes and 52 seconds to assemble one chassis. And guys, really important. Do you see the green arrows? That indicates the direction of your production line. If you do this wrong, uh, the production line will not uh, be starting. You can move this on your correct way like this and because I want to leave some space uh, on this side because I will use it I will start my production line right here because I can create more stuff and if we click we can see this is the time needed to produ produce chassis and uh, later on we will have all these upgrades but currently we can't uh, let's go and click on fit body. You can see tr 31 minutes is needed to create one body. So I will leave three empty spaces like this. Click here on conveyor and connect them. Now th this is connected. But let's go and put some paint. As you can see paint is 34 minutes. Let's do it like this. One space between them fit engine and you're maybe wondering why I'm, I'm using uh, so less space here because I can make a more uh, of these paint or fit engine or fit body on the left side so we we have now production of engines 22 minutes we can now go to accessories as you can see we can't do anything because we need to research this Let's go here and place one more accessories. Let's go to the engine. 
sorry this is electronics and let's go to quality check we can't do any paperwork or shipping so we can do export as you can see we have arrows that are indicating our direction of our lines so we can place place it like this and we can connect now all of our production lines and this is the second part before you can start your car company a uh, resource important set it like this and I will try to make this a little bit more efficient so re re let's go it like this and I will use another importer like here because it will be much much better now this is connected and now we have on two sides resources that we are importing and let's go and click here on the chassis and we can't change any schedule right now let's go and press the starting point and as you can see resources are moving on the assembly line as you can see everything where is necessary is going automatically that is nice okay and let's go to the research before you go here you need to place one research let's go here on facilities research offices as you can see they're costing sixty four thousand dollars and we have not the biggest amount as you can see we can't place it over here we can place it right here and now we can research technologies that we need and uh, I will advise you to go here and research the first one make more robots because if you want to produce more cars you will need this uh, we can go here and upgrades here and you can see we have three upgrades available but we need to research them and this will decrease uh, our time needed you can see uh, but the power will grow currently we are not producing any electricity we are importing and uh, we can change that but we need to research uh, remember guys electricity is really expensive when you have this bar on 100% you will pay less electricity as you can see we are starting to produce some cars and this is our basic sedan and we can sell it for nineteen thousand dollars and this is our profit let's speed things a little bit and we are okay you can see now this is the problem we are not efficient this is still being built and we have two chassis waiting and now it's going on paint but we can't do anything that's why I placed robot re uh, that's why I placed this technology because we can upgrade this and uh, be a little bit faster and efficient and now as you can see we have two chassis waiting before these fit body is finished let's speed things up let's see can we sell our first car as you can see now we are not selling in a good way markets let's go here we are not producing enough cars okay I will increase the time a little bit and uh, I want to see for how much we can sell our first car I will increase this price to like this 21,000 and let's go here and we can see all of the components that were that we are using and uh, production slots we can see everything here we can't see anything here because we are not producing vehicles uh, this is the square meters of our uh, company and uh, we can uh, if you want to create another vehicle and if you have technologies 
you can go click here create a similar vehicle and I will change the name uh, I will change this model A I will call it like that uh, you can create more vehicles if you have technologies that you researched okay we have one car and it's sold and yeah, great we, we can increase our price a little bit because we are losing money currently I will try to sell my car for this part this price as you can see we are not efficient anywhere currently because we don't have anything researched to upgrade and yeah uh, this is all of the achievements that you you can unlock as you can see I'm playing this game uh, and uh, I unlocked a lot of achievements so yeah <laughs> okay uh, market analysis you can see every single detail sales customers and let's go to technologies uh, after I research this I will go and research even more uh, of robots because I will increase the production of my uh, car company as you can see we are selling the cars with ease and let's go here to budget as you can see we are currently losing money and we are not earning anything currently okay this is better but as we increase our production the number will grow as you can see we can now see here on model A that we are producing how much money we are making and these are the expenses that we have on our machines on our production as a, on our rent as you can see 13,000 uh, wages uh, science that is uh, research and uh, where is it power as you can see we are spending a lot of money on power and as soon as you research that this will decrease massively let's see okay this decreased a little bit more but we need to sell more cars we can increase the pricing a little bit more because the cars are selling like that no problem and I wanna show you the research when it, this is finished let's see the money and uh, guys uh, I'm not advise advising you to do this in the beginning because uh, you will probably go uh, bankrupt if you take this loan uh, you can do this but it's a risk if you go bankrupt two times uh, the third time you're done uh, it's end of the game and you need to start all over but uh, this is the interest rate it's 10% on this loan it's pretty high and you can see how much we are paying on one hour I mean this is too much okay I can decrease and yeah th this is the reason that I increase the pricing because I wanted to show you another thing now we can see here what's our customers complaining oh shoot the car is sold <laughs> okay we can wait for another one okay that one is sold too and here now we have production of vehicles per hour two vehicles per hour we are producing okay let's go let's go and you can see uh, wrong body style 50% no features 25% oh, and uh, as more customers see the car this number will change because here we don't have anything or here because we didn't uh, research any of the technologies and let's increase the time this is almost finished and let's see the income we are making some of the money that's really really good okay uh, this I really like uh, when the research is complete you can upgrade all of your slots but this is risky if you have uh, little little money or you have big factory where you can upgrade for millions of dollars I will go and choose the next research of course let's go with this one because I need to produce more cars and as you can see 
I said that we have a problem over here that we are not producing fast enough and the paint we can go here on upgrades and we can buy our robots uh, le let's see here 31 minutes and 40 seconds is the time that we need now it's 28 minutes and 47 seconds so we increased our production time on this part but we have a problem on paint and we can't upgrade this because we didn't research it and uh, you can't produce cars fast if this um, facility is producing the uh, parts really really fast and this doesn't uh, you're not producing more cars so we need to research paint or we can add another paint like this and we can solve our problem now we can have two of them like this it's a simple simple solution and let's connect this like this now the resources are coming in and we now can produce more vehicles because this vehicle will go here and I want to show you something if this if this is not working properly I have a fix and I will show you okay just delete this connect it like that and wait for the first vehicle to come on the slot you see and now connect everything and it's going to work this is a simple fix and now we have a clock here we have a problem 22 minutes and we can buy robots to upgrade this 20 minutes and now we have two sections that are efficient and we have two paint jobs now we can increase our production even more and this is good because we are selling our cars really really nice there is no nothing in the showroom everything is selling and next part I want to show you uh, is this market uh, you can see here if you're producing more cars than you can sell you can decrease your production and uh, this is your market share and this is really really important if you have a great brand awareness uh, you can sell more cars even you are even if you're producing more cars than is needed on this uh, market you can sell it more because you have uh, ads uh, and uh, you have three types of ads but I will show you that uh, later on and I just want to say that that is really really important part and uh, cars are going in we are not having any problems so far we are making money okay we are losing a little bit of money because I added this and I uh, upgraded these two slots and uh, yeah uh, later when we research uh, more things we can uh, have separate things here and uh, we can make lights we can make corn seeds uh, windscreen or here you can see there's a lot of stuff that we can build so this is the simplest start that you can have in this game uh, without taking any loans without busting your company to zero profits as you can see we are producing a little little bit of money and we are starting to research our technologies and uh, I didn't show you the technologies uh, sorry for that I said this is really important at the beginning but later on you have a lot of technologies here to research and as you can see I will show you slowly there is a lot of things that you can do uh, for example if you have sunroof and your competition doesn't have sunroof your cars are going to sell better because you have that feature or sat nav or electric windows so this will increase your sales and your profit simple guys that's like in real life what car companies are doing currently we are producing cars uh, sedan without any features so it's uh, a car that doesn't have anything <laughs> it's just wheels and a, a body and go and drive there is no music there is no winds there is no electric wind uh, windows there is no 
special paint, <laughs> no leather seats, uh, just the basic basic car. And after later on, we will change all of that because competition will be fear will be much greater. As you can see, this is only one percent, and we are selling our cars with ease. But when this increase, you will not be able to sell sell your car if you don't have uh, maybe alarm or heater or some of the research that are needed. And yeah, also we have car designs here that we need to research before we can build them uh, SUV body compact off-road sports and uh, small van and of course the pickup truck and uh, yeah I think this is enough for the first episode uh, I think I showed you uh, the simple way to start this game simple and efficient and uh, you can make some money uh, we are selling our cars as you can see and that that is very good as you can see the total market share is increased and yeah that's it guys for the first episode um, I wanted to show you basic stuff on this game I wanted to show you uh, how to create your line efficiently and uh, in the next episode we are going to continue this uh, making this uh, or this car company even bigger and trying to research more technologies to stay ahead of the competition uh, thank you so much for watching and see you on the next episode bye everybody